I'll flash the smoke. This one's interesting. What's their economy? I find it really strange we're not playing for the C orb, so we can yo ult out. This call seems very obvious to me. We're already gonna go see KO ult. So we add on top of the yo ult and like get free bomb site. Additionally, our economy is kind of low. It'd be really nice if we could save some money. Like we can buy a Bucky this round. Yeah, so I feel like we just threw that round away. Whatever. Now we can all try to get our team around. What? There's no world you're sticking with this, right? You're full committing. Eco, eco. Uh, just burn a smoke stairs. And Hello? Could be Hello? Hello? Your teammates are, are saving. We can't buy next round. I think are you holding ult and next round you'll Bucky? And tell the Wait. team you're gonna hero rifle There's and they'll all play numbers. off of you. No, you're gonna pop ult this round. You okay, so we lose this round for fun. And now we lose this round for fun. And now can we play? Sometimes you just cannot win a No, because now Cypher's economy is okay. Bet. We lose that round for fun. Can we play now? We're talking more in these post plants. You had one guy playing mound. Let's make a play. Okay, we can play. So because you just forced a rifle, you lost three rounds. Three rounds thrown away. I I don't care if you had odds of winning those three. All of those three, your odds of winning were below 50 because you're by. Why did we do that? Why'd we do that? Ultra light beam. Yoru Lotus. Bet. One's going to be late. Are you serious? Clears that. <laughs> gonna be okay, so you did the thing. Yeah. Coming, 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 coming. You're either peeking or you're holding. Pick. One's gonna be late. Because you gave away your location by half peeking. She wasn't clearing you necessarily. We don't even know that. Because at this point, she saw your shoulder already because you half peeked out. Coming, 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 coming. So either just stare at this wall and gamble or swing full confidence One's right here you've stuck out you just you just took a needless step to the left for no reason you let go of the key and now you're sticking out and you can actually see your angle disadvantage on the mini map right now <laughs> because the mini map says you can see back here and you cannot you cannot see that deep this, this does not count as a swing because she has huge advantage on you here with how tiny a step you just took from angle disadvantage you have to wide swing if you're in this spot oh can you just give me a give me a smoke for a just gonna spot. Yeah, one way or what? Yeah, if you can do it one way. If there's still one way, you can do there. I'm just, just, gonna... I'm, I'm just chilling. I don't want to push them. Okay, so the one way is completely dead. Why are we asking for the one way if we're not gonna fight for the space that it's controlling? I'm just gonna jump spot. Yeah, one way or what? Yeah, if you can do it one way. He's like, one way or what? And I'd just be like, nah, I'm just gonna play passive. If they're rushing me, I'll take a smoke. Front A main or something. Nah, be clear. If this is Omen's VOD review, I'm getting mad at him because this smoke is dumb. Because his Yoru said he's just going to jump spot. Double B. So I see. One in B. Yeah, one way. <laughs> it's not work. <laughs> Is it one way work? No. no. It's way too high. Oh. I was just undecisive. Yeah, I think this is going to be a pattern. And I think I'm going to get to close your VOD pretty early. You're shaking it off like it's not a big deal. You're like, oh, I didn't know. And I'm seeing this as a huge flaw if you can't commit to a decision like full on confidently then it's like Both. you're gonna be in this decision making paralysis all round all game Free with me. and when you hover between two decisions you, you just die door you okay open yeah. door flash out swing what is this speak of the devil which is it are you gonna clone and push or are you gonna hold and fight because nothing changed and you decided okay well time to clone instead You knew the peak was coming. Die. Who's next? Oh, you op crutch, you piece. Here, here. Oh. What do you mean? Where, you got commitment issues, bro. Ray, Ray's outside, eh? That's Raina. Here, here, here. 
You called okay. this. Why? Are you... You're not ready for the guy that you called you were going to hold with op? What? Amazing. Okay. 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 Go down. Spike down. See. Two v one. Oh, knows. In what world do you aim at KO here, dude? You literally went, oh, what if I shoot KO or some shit? Like, what are you doing? What? You literally aimed at this guy for fun. And now you're getting peaked as you're... Like, you knew she was right side and, and now you're going to whiff. Just barely, too. But, but why'd you aim at KO? Your TP rubble, it could be crossed. Or TP. Nice. You're gonna have the hardest notes of all time. They're very easy for people who don't need these notes, and they're very hard for people who do. Why are you tapping A and D with an operator from a, an off angle or even an on angle? It doesn't matter. With an op, you, you want to remain stationary because you have a huge advantage if they peek into you. And so your note with the op is going to literally be don't move when you're holding. Your crosshair doesn't move and you don't move until new information presents itself. So if you're holding A right now, let's pretend that this is your notes now. You would literally cannot change angles and you cannot change positions until something gets calmed. You have to stay right here for the rest of the round until your omen's like it's B or your cypher's like it's C. If they don't calm that, you hold A for a minute and 30 seconds without moving. I think this is genuinely impossible for you right now. See? Look at this. AD, 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 crouch, scope in, AD, 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 Oh, shit, there they are. Oh my goodness, we are op crushing hard. Anybody who doubts me when I say to buy this gun in ranked? Are you like getting converted yet, I hope? This thing is free kills in every ELO in solo queue. Sure, if you've never bought it before, you're going to lose some games with it because you don't know how to op. But I promise, like, it is people just peek this shit, man. Like, I look at this. KO, We're facing flying. Astra, Reina, Ko, Yoru. The enemy team has three flashes and a smoke, and they've peaked our op every single round. Yeah, the KO, KO is on my, I might. All right, we just win defense for free because we bought an op. Let's walk up. Oh, I got gapped. Yeah. Ten two. Okay, okay nine three. I think if we see Killjoy, we leave. Uh, we smoke for stairs. I'm gonna clone through tree. Who is she? You speak any other languages? Yes, I speak fluent copium. Watch this. I think Deadlock's good. That's why I pick her. Haven't you seen Curry's playing Deadlock? I'm studying him. Uh, let's try our A hit. I think if we see Killjoy, we leave. Uh, we smoke for stairs. I'm gonna clone through tree. I think they might rush it like we did. If you wanna <laughs> wait like five, 10 seconds, we can. I okay, okay, okay. Your teammate's kind of. Uh, I would I would shrug this off. They have no raise. Killjoy is going to be C. Um, so get this Killjoy is not going to be A. She's going to be C. Almost surely. And then no raise, no raise, no raise, no raise. Also, no omen. Interesting. No breach. How do they deal with you flooding out exactly? They can't really. Which is really good for us. Really good for us. Okay, we do this. Yeah. Okay, I mean, up, hey, we do up. dodge the knife. I got this you can give it to me if you want. So somebody's likely pushing up. Oh, they rotate off, really? Bad. We might just get Cypher free here. Can you smoke yeah. stairs? Whoa, 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 whoa. We should still take through tree, dude. Okay, it, it's... It's not bad, but there's this world where one of them is tree. Anchoring. And now it's just really awkward for us to um, clear them out. Chilly. Yeah, we got Cypher free. Tree. One yeah, go drop. What? Do you not like pushing drop, Abum? Like you have classic pistol, come drop, we'll have right clicks. It's also just a nice angle. It feels like sight, you know, if your tree guys get smoked off, they come stairs or heaven or drop, and now you've got three things to worry about. You absolutely should be pushing drop here. There's not really any other play. Everything else is so much more awkward. Look, if you come tree, it's awkward because uh, we could all get smoked off and util dumped. Not sure how I feel about a pistol. Uh, well, you bought classic, buddy. So a close range fight is you want it. Like it's calling your name, dude. What? What? They have a shorty? No. So your your three matchups are ghost, 
which you have a huge advantage against. Sheriff, which is closer to 50-50, which is still good because you have all these abilities. And then Classic, which is, of course, the most fair. Do, do, do. We definitely want to push drop here. Okay, close range gun. They statistically have a longer range weapon than us. So I wouldn't be holding drop. I'd be pushing it. Yeah. One drop, one drop. Yeah, see, she has a ghost. Yeah. And so does he. <laughs> oh, man. And now exactly what I was talking about is about to happen. Where it's awkward because they're going to be here and they're going to be here. And, and it's like... And it. We're getting pushed from behind right now. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. You never got to take a fight. Do you see this? Where do we get to actually take a fight this round? One drop. Aren't I untradeable in drop? Yeah. And you prioritize being tradable so much that you're last alive in a 1v4. You don't see a problem with that? One drop. Look, we don't get a fight there. We don't get a fight Two. there. We should peek stairs, honestly, at this point. We don't and, get that fight. We don't take that fight because it would be bad. And now we can't swing because it'd be a bad fight. 43. When did we have an opportunity to do anything productive with our positioning? We didn't. There was nothing you could have done. Like if I had to play this round with your positioning, I would have lost because there's nothing productive you can do from this spot. If we look at the geometry as well, like this guy peeking out, they see your teammates tree before they see you over here. It's like you never get to do anything. Like at the very least, lurk up our heaven behind them at this point. If you're worried about fighting them head on. But, but this spot is so bad. It, you don't get to do anything. Who, who do you watch? Who do you watch? Because like you're talking about what you like or you don't feel tradable. But whose post plants have you studied on this map? I'm going to pull up a VOD. Because at the end of the day, that's a shortcut to all of this. I don't need you to like drop. I need you to mimic a player that you aspire to play like. And if I just pull up a VOD of them, they're, they're going to push drop on Yoru almost surely or heaven or stairs. They're, they're not going to play here. They might play tree in the right context. Because I'm going to show you how Exter plays this. Because you said Exter. Okay, let's just look at C first, because I know you're not going to do this. I've, I've seen enough of your play that I know you're not going to do this. So our C play, notice we are up a man and we're planting. All things that you would point at as things you, as reasons why you shouldn't push CT. Like you would point at these things. You'd be like, but who's? We have numbers and I'm not tradable. That's why I'm showing you that, because he's about to push CT. Why is he about to push CT? Because he has classic light armor. He fought a ghost and look what happened. 20 HP, which means he took... 105 damage. This is the exact type of engagement I was telling you is beneficial from the drop push, and we just saw Exter take it immediately. Spoilers! Okay, so here he has the perfect opportunity to come play by our lovely pillar. Agreed? And the perfect opportunity to push drop, if you would like. I see nothing, I see nothing. One sight, one sight. One Damn. We got naded out of drop, but do you see our agency? Our agency. He got to take a committed fight. He looked for another. All right, we get healed. Where do we go? They're all through three here, missing Cypher. All three here, missing Cypher. Look, are we worried about getting flashed and killed? No, no, he's hunting agency. He's not just going to sit around right here and hold drop all passive like this. Because there's no agency here. They're, he's just waiting for them to coordinate and take the site from him. So he's already all working here, missing cipher. All his way up towards like this back wall to do something ratty. But he gets flashed. Through here, missing cipher. Happens. Oh, we're still alive. Bad. Look. Yeah. Phoenix seven. Look at this agency. Look, he's wider than a tree player. Look. He pushed drop again. Again, he pushed drop. So there's no um. It's not like you need to come to me for me to tell you pushing drop is good. I hope I've proven my point in that the resource is right here. If you just, if you watched his post plants and said, I'm going to try to mimic Exter, then I think you would have come to the conclusion of, I should push drop more. Can I peek this one? You did not peek that. This is the worst peek I think I've, I've ever seen. Can I peek this one? If Valorant characters are capable of moving at one unit per second at top speed, you peaked this at 0 0.2 units per second at most. Your head is practically stationary while you reveal this angle. Can I peek this on What? You just died. Two, one. Case in point, you and Omen are both doing it. What? Like, of course you're dead. 
Okay. This guy's having a goddamn party. I'm booting out Valorant. But you're throwing rounds away with like shit like this. Like the po with the weak post plant. That was a thrown round. This peak is insane. This round is just thrown away. We have no chance of winning it because of how we peak that angle. I'm going to draw a graph. This is time. This is our speed. And here we're going to press the D key. Five defenders. So we're, we're zero Double speed defense. until we press we'll D. And what do you think happens when we press D? Do you think we instantly travel at full speed? So you think now we're moving at this speed until we let go? No, you accelerate. Exactly. So you gain speed until you reach the top and then you maintain that. And we can see that clearly if I peak like this versus if I turn ghost on because in ghost, there's no acceleration. So this is what it would look like if you went to top speed instantly. Overwatch type shit. Okay. The crosshair. Do you see this sluggish shit? Now, fortunately for you, the acceleration curve in this game is very generous. This lasts half a step. So as long as you're peaking within like your one step, you're good. Like the second half of your step is exposing the angle. You're good. The acceleration curve is very generous in this game. So like I can peak the orb and I can peak this guy one step each. And by the time I peak this guy, I'm at full speed. Joop, joop, full speed. And I can make no noise. Now, if you're doing, let's see, you did this. I'm going to measure a full step right now. There, that's where I made my first step. This is a full step. You got it? So you're doing maybe 25% of a step. It means your speed is here. And again, this graph is not drawn to scale. Your speed is here when you reveal the angle. And additionally, you keep stopping your peak and then starting again, doing another half step, stopping, starting, half step, stopping, starting, stopping, starting. And you never peak at full speed. Again, not drawn to scale. I'm pretty sure this gap here is like at least 50% of uh, your max speed. Come on. I'm holding the super. Oh, yeah, I've actually got an insane lurk. Okay, so saying I've got an insane lurk is not necessarily a bad call. But you need to tell these guys what their actionable plan is. What do you want them to do? Yo, come back C. I've got an insane lurk. Yo, don't push onto A yet. I've got an insane lurk. Yo, rush onto A site. I've got an insane lurk. Like, what do you want them to do as a result of your insane lurk? It'd be very clear. So I see somebody in chat saying play slow. That's not good enough, in my opinion. Play slow is almost like play carefully. And they're already playing carefully. So saying play slow, sometimes they won't do anything. Don't push A. I've got a crazy lurk. Could be good. I think the best call is yo, come C. Because otherwise we're out of the play. Maybe you try TPing here, but they know your TP's there. So they had A. I'm on the other side of the map. We have a minute, bro. I would have just called him C. I'll flash this up. This sounds interesting. What's our economy? I find it really strange we're not playing for the C orb, so we can yo ult out. This call seems very obvious to me. We're already gonna go C KO ult. So we add on top of the yo ult and like get free bomb site. Additionally, our economy is kind of low. It'd be really nice if we could save some money. Like we can buy a Bucky this round. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so I feel like we just threw that round away. Whatever. Now we can ult try to get our team around. What? There's no world you're sticking with this, right? You're full committing. Eco, eco. Uh, just burn a smoke stairs. And Hello? Yeah, could be off. Hello? Hello? Your teammates are are saving. We can't buy next round. I think you're holding ult and next round you'll Bucky? Tell the team you're going to hero rifle and they'll all play off of you. No, you're going to pop ult this round. You... Okay, so we lose this round for fun, and now we lose this round for fun, and now can we play? Sometimes you just cannot win. No, because now Cypher's economy is f okay. Bet. We lose that round for fun. Can we play now? We're talking more in these post plants. You had one guy playing mound. Okay, we can play. So because you just forced a rifle, you lost three rounds. Three rounds thrown away. I, I don't care if you had odds of winning those three. All of those three, your odds of winning were below 50 because you're by. Why did we do that? Why did we do that? He's going to pop your roll here, dude. Oh, now it wouldn't be bad. Play right there. 
Okay, now we just went out. Now we just went out. Oh, I'm so lucky I killed that. Out. You drop All your right. rifle. Right. You get Bucky. You ult a side. Holding stairs. Ah, uh, shorty, really. And one tree, one, one tree, one stairs. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see the guy. out. Okay, we know what we should do here. We know what we should do here now. We just gave up drop. What? Astro stairs. Oh, shocker. We got smoked off and they retook sight because nobody's holding sight. My God. One flash through the cypher wave. Oh, here, dude. Crazy. No one's flanking me. Nice. This vibe annoys me. It gives me I didn't even watch my own gameplay vibes. Pay attention to the economy. You forced on an eco and your team lost three in a row, statistically speaking, due to your negligence. Bucky's with Guru Ult, study post plants of robots. Try to be at full speed when peeking with angle. This hey, Wuhujin here. Did you know that I stream every weekday doing VOD reviews and playing ranked? If you enjoy the videos, the best way to support me is to show up live. If this video was just uploaded, it's very likely that I'm streaming right now. All of my coaching is free, but that means I need to make money in other ways. Please consider supporting me with a Discord subscription if you can afford to do so. I run many live events for my tier three subscribers as a thank you for letting me pursue my passion every day. At 2000 subscribers, I'll be booking a flight out to EU and to APAC to play in-houses on your servers. Thank you for supporting me.